All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a low carb Big Mac casserole. This is a great recipe. So I found this recipe, guys, on YouTube from another fellow YouTuber. The low carb Big Mac casserole without the bun, guys. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a low carb Big Mac casserole without the bun. Bring you back to the glory days of that special sauce at McDonald's. So let me show you how to do this. Let's go. All right, to start the Big Mac casserole, you're gonna need some a pound of beef, I chose grass-fed. I'm also gonna season it with some pink salt and pepper. Also gonna mix it with a little bit of white onion and some garlic. All right, once your meat is cooked, I'm gonna put it in a pan. I don't know what size this pan is, but, and you're, and you're gonna top it with cheese. I'll get that meat out of there. You need a cup of sharp cheddar cheese and one cup of mozzarella cheese. And you just mix it in this beef. All right, to make the thousand dressing, you'll need some mayonnaise, ketchup, and some dill relish. We're gonna start mixing one half cup of this mayonnaise in a bowl. I'm actually gonna double the mayonnaise and put one cup of mayonnaise. A subscriber told me about this recipe and she said she added extra mayonnaise, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Next, we're gonna mix four tablespoons of this ketchup. and six tablespoons of this relish. All right, now I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. All right, I mixed it. That's how it looks like. Looks like real thousand on dressing. Now we're gonna pour this in the meat mixture. All right, I'm gonna probably pour about half of this mixture because uh, like I said, I had a subscriber. She said what she likes to do is use half of the recipe is use extra thousand dressing and she liked to put some on top after after it was cooked so um that's my plan just to use about half and the other half after it's cooked and then i guess you just go ahead and you mix it all right after you mix it you're gonna mix you're gonna put a bunch of these pickle dill chips you're just gonna layer it all over the casserole like this. All right, the last step is you're gonna add the rest of this sharp cheddar cheese, about one cup over the casserole. And then we're just gonna spread it out like this. I'm so excited, guys, to try this casserole, Big Macs. I don't know if you, anybody knows. <laughs> Big Macs are my favorite burger at any fast food restaurant. In fact, my favorite fast food restaurant is McDonald's because of the Big Mac. So I'm super excited about this recipe. That looks amazing. All right, the last step is we're gonna mix some of the sesame seed over the casserole. Just, just sprinkle a little bit. Not, it doesn't have to be too much. Just like an extra crunch, you know? All right, we're gonna bake it for 20 minutes and it's good to go. All right, look at that guys, that looks amazing. All right, it looks like it's a little bubbling too. So now we're gonna to top it with lettuce and then an extra thousand dressing on top. And that's it, guys. There it is. 
your low carb Big Mac casserole. Can't wait. All right, guys, before I start this video, I want to give a shout out. Um, it's a subscriber's birthday today. Her name is Cinderella. I hope I pronounced that name right. So happy birthday, Cinderella. Um, I want to be giving you a shout out. It's your birthday. So everybody wish Cinderella a happy birthday today. It's her birthday today. Okay, guys, we are going to be trying the low carb Big Mac casserole. I can't wait to try this out. I'm super excited. Uh, to drink, we're just drinking Pepsi. I'm a little thirsty. I want a craving Pepsi. I'm also trying a new microphone out, so let's see how it sounds. It's, all, it's on my jacket right here. And I'm using one of these forks, so it won't scrape up the plate. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm so, let's, let's try it out. I'm so excited. One of my subscribers said she would... She said it was so good. Oh, look how steamy it is, guys. She said it was so good that when, when her boyfriend made it, she made, she helped her make it again. And um, it was like so good. I was like, wow. Mm. And she added, they said they added extra pickles. So that's why you guys saw extra pickles. Mmm. Pretty good. Mmm. Yeah, the one that beeped it. The cheese is really good, too. I like the cheese. Mmm. Some of you may or may not know. Big Macs are my favorite. Burger of all time. <laughs> I'm warm. Matt, if you like pickles, definitely add more pickles to it. It's kind of messy because I added like a lot of that on dressing. Look at that guy. Wow, that could be a good thumbnail, right? <laughs> So yeah, I do love low carb meals. So if you guys like low carb meals, check this video out. Check out this recipe. It's supposed to be like Big Macs. So cheesy, <laughs> saucy. Today's President's Day when I'm filming this video. I probably won't upload it for a while because I have three or four videos on my phone that I still need to edit first. A little behind in video editing, but I wanted to get this video out today since I was kind of craving this dish. The subscriber said she adds extra pickles. I did that. I feel like it makes the dish a little salty. So I think if I make it next time, less pickles. But I think if you like pickles, or, or even Big Macs, you'll like this recipe. It's pretty good. So I got a, um, a letter today. Um, and the subscriber did say that she was going to include a face mask, but, um, when I got the letter, this part is like, I don't think I see that part, but it's like slit open. And the same thing happened to like the other letter. It was like a little bit of, and I asked how she mailed it. And she was like, she mailed it at the post office. So is, is the post office going through the letters and going like this? Is this really weird? Do you guys know anything about that? Hmm. And yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of like, why would the post office go through the letters? And it feels like it's just like a straight cut. But everything's in here. 
I was just going to open it up on the, on the video, but um, she did say she sent me a mask, face mask, and she knows I like face masks, so. So this is a Valentine's card. She sent me a Valentine's card. Oh, this is so cute. Wishing you the sweetest treats, the simplest joys, the warmest feelings, and the happiest heart on Valentine's Day. Hope you have a fabulous Valentine's Day. Your videos bring so much comfort to my soul. Oh, that's nice. Also my stomach lock. Also my stomach. Oh, I see. Also my stomach laughing out loud. Now it's I'm always, always hungry after your videos. Hope you're shared with love today. Hug, Cindy. Thank you. It's, uh, it's really a cute card with the, I had a cash did my name in green. It's kind of cute. It's really cute. She put some, a lot of effort into this. Um, and um, that's what she sent me. The back. See the sticker right here. And a face mask, um, rose gold foil mask. Hmm, I think I like foil masks. I think she says from Korea. Yeah, it looks like this is good for calming. So it's, I guess let you know. Um, I'll let you know more when I try it out. I did try a different mask today. So usually when I did my, my so usually when I film my videos, I try to put a face mask on before. Especially like a home video because I'm home and I so my face looks really good for the video and um but yeah I definitely like to collect face masks. If you guys know any good face masks, I, I really like the sheet masks. I just you know people do do these videos on YouTube where they will just do like seven day or fourteen day challenges of face masks. So you can really see an improvement with that. Yeah, and so this subscriber she she comments on my videos maybe every video. She's she's a pretty good subscriber. She also is in my lives. And so, um, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So the video I follow for this recipe, I think she used a, a, a lot more meat than I did. I can't remember how many how many pounds. Definitely over a pound. I only use a pound. And I don't know. I think I put extra. I think it's a, I think it's too salty. <laughs> um, and maybe that's why it's a little salty. But it feels like it's a little bit too much salty for me. It was a good option if you want to do low carb or keto. Right, guys I think I'm about done it's a pound of meat it's, it's a pound of beef so I don't want to have the whole thing I'll eat a pound of beef <laughs> but it's really good I've, you know I would definitely give it a try I like Big Macs a lot and um hey guys thanks for watching hope you have a great day and see you in the next video peace